A new research reveals a disturbing trend. Human brain samples from autopsies in early 2024 shows a dramatic increase in tiny plastic particles compared to those collected eight years ago. These findings are shared in a preprint study which is not yet peer-reviewed but raises urgent questions about the unseen and unknown impact of plastic on our health. In the brain tissue of healthy individuals with an average age of around 45 to 50 years, the study observed concentrations of 4800 micrograms per gram equivalent to 0.5% by weight. Compared to autopsy brain samples from 2016, that's about 50% higher. This suggests that our brains are now 99.5% brain tissue with the remaining 0.5% consisting of plastic. However, that increase only indicates exposure and does not offer any insight into potential brain damage. Experts note that it remains uncertain whether these particles flow in and out of the brain during life or accumulate in neurological tissues. Further research is necessary to determine how these particles interact with cells and whether they have toxic effects. According to the preprint, the brain samples contained 7 to 30 times more tiny plastic fragments than the Kevader's kidney and liver samples. Studies have found these plastics in the human heart, blood vessels, lungs, liver, testes, gastrointestinal tract and the placenta. In the study, researchers analysed brain, kidney and liver tissues from 92 individuals who underwent forensic autopsies to determine the cause of death in both 2016 and 24. The brain tissue samples were taken from the area associated with thinking and reasoning and this area is most affected by dementia and later stages of Alzheimer's disease. Experts believe that the brain is pulling in the very smallest nanostructures like 100 to 200 nanometers in length whereas some of the larger particles that are a micrometer to 5 micrometers go into the liver and the kidneys. Scientists explain that nanoplastics can enter the body and reach the brain by crossing the blood-brain barrier. One theory is that these plastics exploit the fats we consume to travel to organs that attract lipids, with the brain being a primary target due to its high fat content. We know that the human brain is approximately 60% fat by weight and making it the most lipid-rich organ. While diet could be the main route of entry, some microplastics are also airborne. If you remember a latest study which had found that a litre of bottled water contained an average of 2,40,000 plastic particles and around 90% of those were nanoplastics. But it's important not to alarm people too much, as the science in this area is still evolving. So far, we know that microplastics and nanoplastics cause harm, but we don't know the exact extent of harm, despite knowing the linkages with cancer as well. This means the only thing we can do right now is to begin taking protective actions and learn to use less plastic.